Alright everybody, today this is Wheelchair Guy. I'm going to show you how to burn Dreamcast games. Um, now I will say before I start this video that yes, it it's it won't necessarily break your Dreamcast, but a CDR will have to work a little bit harder in order to do this. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need a basic CDR. So just CDR, like just any type. I mean, the ones that I'm using, I'm using a Memorex. They're all they they all are 700 megabytes, and that's all you'll need. Um, the other thing you'll need is you'll need Image Burn. This program right here. Um, you can find that on Google as well. Um, image um, Image Burn. And then that can be downloaded from. There's many different sites here. Um, let's see. Here's the official site for Image Burn. Um, you can actually just download it from here. Um, that's probably the easiest thing to do. Um, let me see where exactly you have to click here. Because I know some people are going to see download right there. And then you can, you know. You can download these from a couple different places, soft, PDA, you know, stuff like that. So anyways, so once you get that all installed and everything, there's no place you need to specifically place it or anything. Um, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need the ISOs themselves. And the way to actually get those is you're going to go to um, my favorite place is Email Paradise. Um, and then just go into ROMs and ISOs. IOS. Go to Sega Dreamcast. Proceed to there. Now, let me show you. Alright, so. What's one that I did? I did Sonic Adventure 2, which is an excellent game. So on this site, you go to download links. You click right, right here. They actually have this nice image. So you can actually make a little CD if you wanted to, just to, for organization purposes. And you can also go to download, uh, you just go to download Sonic Adventure 2. Um, you click on this link, as you can see it's 648 megabytes. Um, so when you get this file, it's going to open up, um, you know, you're going to, have, you're going to also need a program like 7-Zip, um, which is an unzipper. Because these are going to be zip files. They're all rares, usually. Uh, RARs. So what you do is uh, 7 zip. Um, you can simply go to the website. Uh, you can download it. It's a really easy application to use. So once that's downloaded, it'll know to open that type of file. But anyways, let me show you one that I did. We'll go to my Dreamcast folder. And then we'll go to... Let's see, we'll go, oh, actually, let me go to a different folder that I have here. Uh, I have so many folders. I really need to clean this up, but it's just, uh, it's out of sheer laziness is really what it comes down to. So we're going to go to File Explorer, and we're going to actually find the download that we got. So, let's see, Sonic Adventure 2 right there so this is the type of file you get see i'll click on it and then okay seven zip well this is a different program let me show you what it looks like in seven zip though um seven zip it's going to be something more along the lines of all right so we'll open with seven zip file manager and in here it's going to be something along the lines of this and then you're going to you have the CDI there but no no I'm gonna cancel that out actually um, what we wanted to do is we wanted to actually open up this one open with uh, let's see yeah seven file and then okay I know you see all these parts okay I didn't realize this before myself but if you open this okay you just open this this is a CDI. This is the format that you're, that most Dreamcast discs use. Not all of them, 
I know someone will probably say that there's a better way to do this, but I'm doing an easy tutorial here, trying to make it as easy as possible for you. And anyways, um, all right, so let's make sure we're still, yeah, we're still recording. Okay, anyways, let me go back. Okay, so anyways, you're going to get all these parts, and you're going to freak out. You're going to be like, oh, my God, you're not going to know what to do. Um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to extract these, and then you can put this to a location, okay? In this case, I already have a location. When you get the location, these will show up. What will happen is you'll open this up. You'll open the part one up. So let me show you what it go what it looks like once it's actually developed the folder. So you go to File Explorer. In my case, it's Downloads. You might want to put it somewhere else. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, okay, so see, this is the folder... Well, let's see. I'm trying to find the folder that was produced. Okay, we're going to do it with Sonic Adventure instead because that's... I didn't download it the same way that other one. So, see this folder that was created here? You just click on that and you're like, oh my god, all these parts. You'll click on this. This will probably open in PZIP. Yeah, it's going to open in PZIP. But we'll open... For our purposes, we'll open it in 7-zip. Okay, and as you can see... It unlocks the CDI. You're probably like, "What the hell is this?" Um, one thing that you, one thing I would say to check with these is just see how much, see what the size is. Um, this is around. This is showing like set. The speed, the, the size is like like 700 something megabytes. Sometimes it'll be over 700 megabytes, but don't be alarmed. A lot of times it doesn't matter. It just seems that way. Um, it seems like it's going to be bigger. Well, anyways, once you get that, once you get that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to simply drag this to the desktop, and what you know, or you can drag it into the burner, but it's easier to do it that way. And then, anyways, what you're going to do next is this will show up on the desktop. So I'll show you that in just a second. Okay. So, anyways, all right, and it's doing its complete. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this shouldn't be too hard, but again, I, I know how it is. Once you learn how to do something, you tend to kind of flub up on things a little bit. So anyways, so here, here we go. We see the sonic copy. Now, one thing you want to make sure of is make sure that it is the right size. So as you can see, it is 705 megabytes. Again, it's 700, 700 megabytes. Don't worry, okay? You'll be fine. All right, so anyways... So you open up, you open up um, Image Burn, and you want to go to Write Image File to Disk. Okay, what you're going to do is where it says Please Select a File. That's the source. So you click on this folder, and then in this case, we're going to go to, well, we're going to go to the desktop. We're going to go to where I dragged that on my desktop, or whatever folder you might have done it on. So then there's Sonic Adventure. You open that. Then, then what you do is you'll put in a CD. I'll just put in one um, to show you what type of image you're going to get. And then you just click on this. Also, very important here, you see all these different speeds. You see all these different choices. You're going to want to pick um, I always pick four, um, the the right speed at four times. The re I'm not sure exact the exact reason for this. I think it's because you don't want to be putting um, uh, you don't want to be putting more stress on the console than this already does. Um, but this isn't something that's going to ruin your console in like a couple months or a year or anything like that. But the biggest thing is, is to make sure that that's always 4x, okay? And then once you burn this, like you literally, there um, there might be some cases where you might need some sort of boot disk. Um, I haven't really done that. Uh, most games don't require that. Um, and then when you get into like bigger disks where there's like, you know, there's multiple disks, it'll be the same process, but you want part one for disk one, part two for disk two, part three for disk three, and so on. That first part is always going to be the file. It's always going to be the CDI that you want to go after. So that's the most important part to extract because everything is, ba the, 
all the other files are connected to that one. And the reason why they do that is because the way they pack them, because you're only going to have one file that contains everything in it. So anyways, that's pretty much the basic process for burning Dreamcast games. It's really easy. It's really fun. Um, you can, you know, because I know the prices of Dreamcast games can be quite expensive. Um, the biggest thing that I would say that you need to be cautious about is just make sure, like, if the console seems like it's being overstressed or if it's being overheated or something, you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to push it, you know. But I haven't experienced anything crazy. I mean, I just started burning stuff and nothing bad has occurred. But again, this is a disclaimer. If something does happen to your equipment, I am not responsible for anything that go, goes or could go wrong. Um, all that I'm here to do is if you have passed that point of no return where you decide you want to burn a Dreamcast game, then follow this tutorial. I did it to the best of my ability to make it as easy and seamless as possible. If there's any confusion whatsoever, um, feel free to comment, message me, just let me know so that way there's no confusion and I can help to make sure everything turns out correctly for you. Um, again, it's a, a totally at your discretion whether or not you decide to do this. Um, but again, just be aware, this is an older console. The damage could be caused. Um, it might not happen right away. You know, um, you know, but I know that we all don't have thousands of dollars to spend on getting these Dreamcast games. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, this is Wheelchair Guy signing off. Uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, just, uh, you know, just keep on watching because I'm new to this and I'm trying to build a fan base. So just uh, keep on listening and I'll keep rolling.